With the spring classics and epic scenes of high mountains and snowy conditions in the Giro behind us, the peloton have a new climate to combat. The summer heat can cause all sorts of problems for the riders, and even during the warm-up, this can play havoc on race day. But for many teams, there is a simple solution. It's the cool vest. It's like, uh, like a cool pack, like you uh, use in a uh, normal, uh, normal household and uh, when you have a bruise something on your knee, uh, you can keep a uh, cool pack on it. It's like, uh, like a liquid, it's like a gel inside, it uh, freezes up when you put it in the freezer. It's like all bubbles, and so it freezes. this one is just used, so it's not really, it's still cold, but it's not really frozen. So um, they also got a special package uh, in the back, so sometimes they use it also to go to the start and have uh, some things in the, in the back, like a bidon or like, uh, like something to, uh, to eat. We got the, the straps all side, on side, because uh, it's uh, one size fits all, so everybody can use it, for the big guys and also the small guys. And yeah, it keeps your body cool, because when the guys are on the trainer warming up, uh, the body heats up also, and uh, like now they don't have the wind from, from riding, so the body heats too much up and uh, they use the cool vest to keep the body temperature down. With race conditions in the summer months reaching the high 30 centigrade, any small advantage to keep the core temperature to a minimum is a real benefit. I think it's going to be like uh, 38, 39 degrees maybe in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the worst conditions. So the body heats really up and uh, it's like, like a fever you have. And also you can't, uh, you sweat a lot. And also uh, you got a lot of uh, fluids you have to drink because otherwise you uh, get uh, dehydrated. And that's maybe the worst, uh, worst thing about it, that you get dehydrated because you sweat too much and your body can cool down. So it, uh, it's two of them. And, and the dehydration and also the, the body temperature is too high. So with this we can get it a little bit uh, in control. The riders need to optimize their conditions, specifically throughout stage races. Any possible aid to reduce and manage the exertion of the riders pre-race can aid in the recovery pulse race phase as well. Yeah, the, the, the big advantage of, uh, of, the, of the cool vest is that the, the dehydration uh, is, is less and also uh, riders can get overheated and uh, get uh, headaches and uh, maybe stomach problems, uh, get a little bit dizzy because of the heat and uh, also dehydrated. That's, that's a big issue, I think. In a sport where marginal gains can bring maximum rewards, it's surprising that some other teams have not adopted this simple idea. Not a lot of teams uh, are using it nowadays. Uh, I don't know why, but um, maybe they uh, don't see uh, the, the, the possibilities of it or maybe the, the, the good ways of it. But we believe in it and, uh, and also uh, yeah, the results are getting better. We tested it also and uh, uh, we, uh, riders are also free to, uh, to use it or not, but most of the riders are using it. So they warm up a little bit before and then uh, close to the, to the starting time, 15, 20 minutes before, they, they put it on and also when they go to the start they take it off. Sometimes they take it with them, when it's really hot, they take it to the start and put it out there. But mostly when they, when they go here it's uh, close to the start and it doesn't make sense to put it on. Also the body when it's really cold from the vest and you go into the heat again, your body gets also a reaction so it's better to have a little bit uh, before take it off and uh, your body can get used to the heat again. But it, yeah, it is, it is cooler than it was before without the vest.